Uh, this is genius work here. All right, let's go ahead and get up against it, and there we go. We just hold it under. We are holding the boat under. That is cool. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we're going to be checking out some awesome creations. And we're also going to probably maybe do a mission or two, uh, depending on how long it takes me to get through the creations. So this is going to be a normal episode of Stormworks. We will still have a sinking ship survival episode coming up really soon, probably right around the weekend. But there's been an update, so I figured let's go ahead and cover a little bit of that. Now, I already noticed the game looks a bit different, like the, uh, the lighting's been updated. Uh, the graphics, everything seems a little bit more crisper uh, than it used to be. So, anyways, we're going to be doing this here today. All the creations will be linked down in the description if you want to download anything that you see in this episode here today. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Helps out my channel. And comment below it what you want to see next in Stormworks. Is it more ship survival, more missions, uh, more random creations? Yeah, let me know. But yeah, let's uh, jump right into this. Okay, so another reason we're not doing sinking ship survival today, there's a couple creations on the workshop that need to be highlighted that aren't necessarily ships. We have two mechs. Uh, yes, folks, mechs on the workshop. Uh, there's the M20 Atlas mech, and there's the M5 Super Heavy Lifter mech, which I'm assuming it can lift stuff. So we're going to spawn in one of these. Now, supposedly, these things can go on the bottom of the ocean, uh, almost like a, I guess, a submarine? Or like some sort of walker. It's just, I don't know, my mind's blown right now. I never thought we would see this in Stormworks. So let's uh, go ahead and spawn it. Dude, check that out. That's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh my. Look at it standing on the uh, the bottom there. Now how does this work? Does this actually, I don't think it walks. I think it actually scoots forward. Maybe there's wheels on the bottom of the uh, feet there. All right, let's go ahead and hop in. Okay, hop in the water here. Let's get up the ladder. This is too cool. Uh, this reminds me of, what, like Pacific Rim or something? Uh, oh boy. Oh, it's gonna take me a little bit to get up the ladder because I'm so anxious. Alright, so... Oh, there's another ladder. Okay, where is the actual top to this? Okay, here's another... Oh, here we go. Here is the door. Oh, can we climb on top of this too? Oh, what's it like up here? Oh, this is cool. Wow. All right, so let's go ahead, hop. Oh no, are you kidding me? All right, back up the ladder we go. Okay, all right, we're back up the ladder here. This is probably one of the most creative things that I've ever seen in Stormworks. Let's open that up. Oh, I almost fell off the back of it again. That would have been really embarrassing. Okay, we can close that. All right, let's uh, open up the cockpit. Oh, dude, look at the controls. Look how this is set up. Wow, this is cool. Okay, so let's climb up in the cockpit here. All right, wait, I heard something locked there. What was that? Okay, something just locked down. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm just gonna look at the buttons here. So we have spotlights, turn those on. Internal lights, those are on. Power up legs. Okay, so we have the power on legs. Uh, it's got a magnet somewhere, which I think it's toggled. Okay, okay, no, it isn't toggled. Arms, throttle, so it does have everything hot keyed, which is really nice. We got some overhead buttons. That's head rotation, hold on, we can really rotate that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, what is that sound? It sounds like it's connecting to something. Hold on, we might need to move out here. Let's try to get that in its default position. All right, we've got arm controls right up there. All right, so how do we fire this up? So power on. Oh. Oh. oh what's this look like from out here? Oh, that is cool. We have a Stormworks mech, folks. All right, so we're fired up. I'm assuming. Okay, so power on legs. Okay. That. Ooh. Ooh, what's it doing? What's it doing? Uh oh. Oh wait, am I ready to drive this? Hold on, let's press forward. Dude, this is a full-blown walker. Yeah, I'm pressing a W right now. How do we get off this? Hold on, how's it? Okay, so it turns. It's W A S D. That is crazy. Oh, buddy. Oh, uh, we're sinking. Okay, so it's going down. Now we're standing on the bottom of the uh, the seafloor, which really isn't that high up. 
Dude, this is the cool... Okay, this might be my new favorite creation, Stormworks. I don't know, there's another mech that we could possibly bring out. Now, I did see a, on the screenshot on the workshop, they had a picture of the mech tipping over a boat. I'm kind of wondering if that's a thing. Uh, that would be kind of fun to play Havoc. Could you imagine doing a sinking ship survival because a mech tips it over? All right, so we can control the arms, so I need to activate those. Okay, those are on now. So how do those work? Okay, there's toggle magnet. I'm reading everything. So we can extend the arms out with four. What does it look like? Hold on, they're under... Oh! I know it might be a little hard to see. Hold on, let's put them back. There you go. All right, so you can extend those out, and you can rotate them. Dude! That is cool. That's actually... Okay, so that's rotating the torso. I kind of wish I was out of water for this. But you can see the whole bottom half slide, so that's how you turn the arms. And there's a... Appears to be magnets on the arms themselves. So if we toggle with one... We can grab stuff with the arms. Dude, that is so sweet. So the other one, I guess, is just a bigger mech. Now, the other one looks like you can spawn it on land because it has, like, a little staircase in front of it. Uh, let's keep going. Actually, no, you couldn't spawn that land. No way because of the uh, how big the hangar is. I'm assuming you'd have to be in the dock. Oh, this is so awesome. I almost feel like we need to attack a boat or something just to see what happens. Ooh, I can raise my arms up. Mech smash! <laughs> oh, oh, we gotta go attack a boat. Okay, so let's stay about right here. Are we floating? Are we... I think we're floating. Are we floating away? We somewhat are. I don't know, this thing's keeping itself propped up. Like, can I get out of this and walk around? Is that a thing? Oh, it is. Alright, so let's just open that up there. Let's keep this compartment sealed. Open that back portion up. Alright, let's get over to the shore real quick. I'm gonna spawn a little boat and we're gonna play a little havoc on it. Alright, so I just spawned the Thunderbolt. Uh, this is a boat that we played with in probably one of the earlier episodes of Stormworks. A very awesome little rescue craft. Uh, let's go ahead, get into here. I'm going to drive this out there, and we're going to see what type of havoc we can play with one of these. Because I'm kind of curious if we, can, uh, if we can flip that thing over. That would be really, really cool to see. And also, I just have to say, the game looks a lot better now. I'm really liking how blue the ocean is and stuff now. It's just got a, a much more vibrant looking color scheme to it. All right, we're gonna turn the mech here. And oh, how does this thing turn? It sounds like turbines or something activates. Actually, I think you need to just walk and turn. All right, so we're gonna walk and turn this way. There's like a cliff underwater somewhere over here, so I don't wanna hit that. You know, I don't wonder, like I'm trying to figure out like an actual use for this. Like I would like to take this out on a rescue mission or I guess you can go uh, to the retrieval missions. Like say you need to pick up a, an anchor. I think there's like some anchor missions. One's like a, a nuke or something in the water that's been dropped off or a bomb. Like I think this might work for it. So you could take this out into the ocean. Uh, it would be cool if we had like a, a loader or something for this. Or say this could set on a ship and, could be, and, be, and be deployed. That would be just awesome. All right, boat, you have met your maker. We have the big mech versus boat. Okay, so we've got our arms extended all... Okay, they're all, they are extended all the way out, so... All right, boat, it's time to meet your maker. We're gonna smash you with a mech. Uh, this might be a little too deep. Can we still push the boat over? All right, here we go. Oh, dude! We could actually hold that boat under. Han, does this fully rotate? Okay, no, it doesn't. All right, let's back back off real quick. I really didn't expect this to be a full walker. I really expected it to be like have wheels on the bottom and just roll, but I did not expect this thing to actually step. Uh, this is genius work here. All right, let's go ahead and get up against it, and there we go. We just hold it under. We are holding the boat under. That is cool. That is just so sweet. Okay, so yeah, you can see the boat. Yep. That is how the mech takes care of work there. Now, can we grab that? If I toggle these magnets, are these like those general magnets? Can I... Will it actually try to snap onto this boat? I don't know if it will or won't. It might not. Uh, can we... Oh, we just picked up the boat and flipped it! <laughs> oh, it's like the, the table rage. Like, you just pick it up and flip it. Hold on, let's get under it real quick. There we go, and... He picked up the boat! Oh, that is so awesome, huh? Let's just flip it over. 
Uh, it's getting caught on my head, actually. What does this look like from inside of here? Oh, that is cool. Come on, flip it over your head. Flip the boat over. Uh oh, I think I got the boat stuck on me. Uh, back step, back step, back step. All right, now go up. There we go. I've got it. I'm holding it now. And we have flipped it in a fit of rage. Do not mess with C robot. All right, this one's cool. We're going to take the other one out real quick and check it out, too. And then maybe we'll go on a little bit of an adventure underwater. Oh, right. So we can spawn this one inside the hangar. So this is your little stairs, which have brakes on them. And there's a toggle button. I believe we can get the stairs to drive away. Is that something? Or does this stay attached to its crotch? Or how does this work? Huh? There Maybe there's a button here. Uh, toggle cabin windshield. Okay. Ooh, this is like a little personal mech here. You just get in here. It's all real tight and to the character. That's cool. All right. Push button. Turn on magnet. Power legs. This looks pretty similar to the other controls. This one's got pumps, though, so we can go underwater. You know, I would like to actually see uh, some sort of... It would be cool to see maybe a firefighting one. Does this one have any pumps for, like, where you can spray stuff? I don't think so. All right, let's power this thing on. There we go. What the heck is this? This is like a little onboard computer. I don't think I've ever seen that. Okay. Cockpit lights are on. Let's go ahead and toggle the windshield. Is it, is it broken? Oh, let's get rid of the stairs real quick, which we're detached from those. Okay, so we had to detach the stairs first. So we're inside of this. Okay, so what's this push button do? I don't know. Okay, there's a magnet, so let's go ahead and power on the legs here. Okay, those have been engaged. All right, turn on the spotlights. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, this one's... Oh, I just kicked over those stairs. Oh, this is cool. On... Um, you know, I'm actually just really curious... Oh, that is how that's working. Okay, so we're hearing this constant sticking noise, this constant magnet noise. And look on its feet. You can see the magnets light up whenever it touches the ground, so it's sticking. That's what's keeping this from tipping over. I didn't know if it was some sort of gyro system or uh, some sort of thruster system keeping this thing upright, but yeah, it's all uh, done by magnets. That's cool. Okay, so we've got that working. Are our arms, okay, expand arms, turn on magnet. Is there just an arm control for everything or did we already activate that? Okay, those aren't moving, so let's just toggle both of them. There we go. All right, so yeah, that works. Oh, this thing makes a racket when it moves. Oh, that is too cool. Very cool. I don't remember these uh, light-up blocks either. That must be new. Like the M5 there on the cockpit plus the uh, little onboard computer here. Yeah, that must be some new things here in Stormworks. Anyways, uh, I guess we need to walk down the beach area because we can't just walk off the uh, dock there. I think we'll fall. All right, we're ready to walk off into the water. Could you imagine this on like a... A military like beach landing or something if you imagine one of these things walking out of the water onto the beach oh that would be epic all right so this thing has a pump on it. I'm assuming it floats like in this current state and it needs to have water pumped into it in order to go underwater so we click those okay so we're starting to pump now I don't know probably the pumps are somewhere in there uh, it's probably going to, what I think it's probably going to do, kind of like the sinking ship, it's probably got an inlet, and it's pumping water into a portion of the body to uh, give it some weight. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Is that supposed to come into the cockpit? Hold on, hit that button again. Okay, well, maybe that's how this thing works. Maybe this cockpit doesn't seal off. Yeah, I'm not really sure if this would seal off, to be honest with you. This is probably the way it has to be, uh, just because it's like a custom glass that shoots down. Uh, but I could be wrong. Maybe I, am I missing the, uh, the ceiling part? Ah, it's cool. I'll just hold my breath down here. That's fine. So there we are. We are walking underwater. <laughs> uh, let's get a ways out here and see what it looks like. I don't know. I can't choose between the two mechs. I do think I like the big one a little bit better just because it's really big and epic. But I really love the body design on this one. Like, it is just fantastic looking. That is crazy looking. It's actually got really good positions on the spotlights, which set on the shoulders. So if you move your, uh, if you move the shoulders and the arms up and down, you can uh, position those spotlights differently. So that, uh, that works really good for this underwater portions. You know, I didn't realize how varied uh, the underwater is here in Stormworks. Like I kind of thought it got to a position and just got flat. 
but we're actually starting to we're starting to go uphill here and then I really do think it drops off really deep here in a moment so I want to get to that portion uh, before we move on to our next creation here okay so we're coming up on what appears to be a cliff it's actually going uphill right now uh, we might skim the surface here and then it looks like it falls off so let's turn a little bit to the left there we go all right yeah that looks like it falls off a bit actually that's a rock in front of us isn't it huh you know it would be very cool once storm works of course you got the the coast guard stuff the simulating the rescues but i would love to see some more exploration stuff like maybe some shipwrecks and maybe some caves or something could you imagine taking this into a cave underwater uh that would be epic all right so let me get around the rock here and then we'll uh we'll move over to hopefully the deeper part oh oh no oh oh he broke his legs oh no he slipped oh uh oh uh oh oh folks i think we broke it well we made it basically to the deep part before he slipped on a rock and oh i think we broke the craft oh i see one of the magnets is engaged can i turn those uh can i try turning those off oh nope it's broken we broke it oh no don't crash the game don't crash the game all right, well, that is the mech creations. Those are absolutely amazing. You might see those uh, again, maybe once I figure out if we can do a rescue scenario with those. Uh, but yeah, that is completely awesome. All right, uh, let's move on to the next thing for this crashes. All right, so for our final creation here today, now this probably looks like a couple things that we've checked out before, but I can assure you this is different. This is, and it's just got a, a simple name to it. It's the FV-32. I think it's like a hybrid troop transport or maybe a, a rescue ship. It kind of looks like a stealth ship, does it not? Or like a stealth, I guess, helicopter? I don't know what you call this. Is there such thing as a, like three blades on a, a helicopter like this? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn it in. Uh, it looks amazing. And I, like I said, this is an episode where it's all about kind of random creations and stuff that I'm not really 100% sure how to use uh, in an episode. But let's uh, jump in and see what it looks like. Dude, this thing is a massive beast. Oh, wow. I did not expect this to be this big. Okay, so how do we get into it? Uh, back here? Oh, there we go. Okay, so is this a stealth craft? Is this what this is supposed to be? Or let's lift ourselves up in the elevator. Ooh, it's a bit dark in here. Kind of spooky. Uh, I promise you, I won't put any ghosts in it like I did the uh, one episode. What is that? Uh, deploy sensors. Okay. I don't know what that does. Uh, is this another elevator? Okay, go down through here. Oh, okay. Here's the captain's area. All right, so there's a complete uh, floor above us here, and we'll go to that here in a second. Let's see, do we have any lights in here? Uh, hold current altitude. Okay, so it's got some sort of stabilization on it. Ah, uh, here we go, lighting. Okay, lighting mode. So you got red mode, uh, like the kind of, I guess the night mode, the red, and then you got the normal uh, light, or the normal white mode there. Okay, so let's go ahead, engine manual throttle, deploy searchlights, uh, deploy locking gears. Okay. I read the instructions, but I'm not really good with instructions, so sometimes stuff, I just forget about it. All right, there's a way to crank this. Is it, this it up here? Okay, oh, there it is. All right, so activate aviation systems. Turn those on. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and hold current altitude. No, actually, let's turn that off. All right, so it should be allowed to push forward. So it's manual. It's like a cruise control there. Okay, so let's get at the helm here. And can we just... Uh-oh. Does this have normal helicopter controls? Oh, it does. Oh, it's really kind of weird because the W key feels like it's actually pointing the nose up a bit, opposed to a helicopter in the game where the nose points down. So that's, uh, that's something. Oh, did you see that? That was cool. The landing gears automatically uh, went up. So I'm assuming it's a certain altitude. Maybe there's a sensor or something under there that it picks up, possibly. I don't know. All right, so we can get it to maintain the altitude. So let's go ahead and get moving. Oh, this thing is booking. Wow. That's impressive. That's really impressive. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's main. Oh, no, 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 no. Turn that back on. Turn that back on. Hold altitude. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, did I, did I screw that up? I did not mean to hit that. And look at it. It saved itself. Wow. Sometimes I get in my own way. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. That's manual control. We don't want to do that. Let's let this thing stabilize now. 
It's a little rocky now that uh, I screwed that up. So, uh, actually, let's turn this off. Let's try to get this thing stable real quick. Let it kind of do its thing here. Okay, so now we should be able to turn that on or hold. Uh, I think that's... Okay, that seems good. All right, so now I should be able to walk around. It's amazing that you can walk around on stuff like this. Let's go and deploy the searchlight real quick. There we go. Where is that at? Uh, okay, yeah, you've got side searchlights. Okay, those were tucked in earlier. Cool. All right, so you got that. The locking gear, I'm not really 100% sure what that is, but I'll have to check. Uh, ooh, where, wait, where does this go? Okay, so there's another compartment down here. Push button. Oh, ramps. Oh, crud. There's ramps in here? Uh, what the heck? This has got compartments all through it. Server racks? Dude, check that out. Is this all, this is all the logic and stuff. This all pops out. That is cool. All right. It is dark in here. Oh, yeah, you can see the ramps down here. Would that be for us to walk out? Yeah, I don't think I want to walk out of that right now. Hold on, let's just, uh... Raise those back up. Let's get back out of here. All right. Now, like I said, as far as the purpose of the vessel, I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, it just seems like a really awesome craft that, uh, what does this do? Uh, it deployed some sort of sensors. Uh, do we know what that did, though? <laughs> I need to read this again. Oh, there we go. It's got like, a little sensor down below us. Is that detecting the winds? Wait, is that detecting wind direction? It kind of sure looks like it is, isn't it? Or is it pointing... It's not pointing direct north. I don't know what that is doing. I'm so lost. This is so magnificent, though. Huh? Let's go up a floor here. Uh, wait. Can we control the ship from up here, too? Oh, there's another helm up here. Okay, so levers. Uh, prime aquatic navigation. Oh, this goes underwater. Oh, dude. Okay, so it's got a aquatic mode. How do we, <laughs> how do we do that? So it's what part helicopter, part submarine? I'm guessing. Okay, that's a thing. What is? Uh, okay, what does this button do? Uh oh. Okay, that opened the top up. Wait, does that make that a hatch? Um, I am so confused. Uh, I might have to stop and read. Okay, there's. Oh, these are. Uh, Oh, that's cool. This is like a little uh, walkway on the outside. Okay, we might want to have that sealed if we're going underwater, which I think we're doing that. Uh, authenticate. Dude, this is some top secret spy stuff. Uh, lockable button. Power cores. Is that the engines? Dude, I'm so confused by this. This is too cool, though. Oh, it's, uh, okay, there's an alarm system here. Okay, so we're gonna click this button. I don't know what this button means exactly, but let's go ahead and prime this and deploy start aquatic aviation. Okay, is this the same thing? Hold on, let's hit this. What is it doing now? Uh, oh look! Oh, it is a, uh, it's kind of a boat, I guess. Yeah, the, uh, the propellers just popped out the bottom. Hold on, let's go kill the other engines. Okay, so I'm assuming we're going to let this thing drop. So let's go kill this. Okay, here we go. I probably shouldn't have done this from way up there. Oh, come on, land. <gasps> wait, wait, don't capsize. Is this thing sealed? It's not going to do a sinking ship survival on us, is it? Actually, that, uh, no, that's sealed. No way. So, uh oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, let's see if we can still go down here. Something doesn't seem like it's sealed up. Uh, actually, we're going up, so technically we're okay. Okay, so here we are. We're back at the top. Let's go ahead and get into the helm here. And... <laughs> Dude, this is so crazy. Uh, this is probably the most creative stuff that I've seen on here yet. Like, this episode's all about, like, what in the heck creations. Like, how do people do this, or how do people come up with this in these games? All right, we're just kind of floating along here. That was completely awesome that we're able to do that. Yeah, we could probably actually use this in a rescue or something. I, I can imagine uh, several different ways to use this. Uh, it's just like a boat. I mean, it's like any other rescue boat without the, uh, at least I don't think it has winches. It's got a connector on the front here, but I'm not really sure what else that might be used for. Huh. That's weird. You can see even the little sensors, uh, the little propeller on that's going now. That's crazy. 
But anyways, folks, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Do go check out these creations on the workshop. Uh, we will be returning with some sinking ship survival here really soon, and I have some plans for some big boats. So it's going to be very, very epic when it happens. Plus, I think uh, there is some new missions uh, since this last update, so we'll probably do a video about checking those out too. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time in Stormworks.